Welcome to the stream. I am your host, Mythical Malice. It is Friday, January 6, 2023, approximately 6.29 p.m. Central Time. Welcome. We have reached the end of the first week of the new year. I hope it went swell for all y'all. Uh, I had a four-day work week this week. So it was, it was like a nice, easy transition for the most part, back into day-to-day -day life, going back to work and stuff. Um, yeah, nothing crazy, nothing catastrophic happened, nothing broke. It was nice. Just come back and do regular work things. Very enjoyable. I uh, also had a dentist appointment on Monday, or sorry, Tuesday. No cavities. I'm rocking it. Killing it, having a good time. Speaking of killing it, Mustache, mustache Molly is also killing it. Um, she, she's been killing a lot of people, actually. And today, she's going to kill more. Uh, we are back with more in the Outer Worlds uh, and our infamous Mustache, mustache Molly. Um, we left off with uncovering the dastardly plot of the board. Um, whose ultimate goal is to sacrifice 100,000 potential uh, colonists in order to save their own skin. Um, those colonists are stuck in hibernation, and the board wants to eject all of the occupants and put themselves in there instead so they can uh, outlive a food shortage that's currently occurring. So... Uh, I, we get the option of whether or not we assist them or if we prevent them from do, completing this plan. Um, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna stop them. We're gonna stop them. Um, but not necessarily in a nice way. So, uh, we'll see what upcoming options we have. Um, uh, but we shall go through with it. Um... We have a couple side quests that we just need to tie up real quick. Uh, not a whole lot. There's only like two or something like that. Uh, and then we should be good to go. We're going to go back to the colony ship Hope that all of those suspended colonists are stuck on. And we're going to wake them up. Or at least a portion of them. So, that being said, let's uh, jump back in here. Here we are. Right. So we're going to start off by taking a look at our quest line here. So we've got the Low Crusade. We need to set up a dummy beneficiary account for Ellie. So this is her companion quest. We also need to get some Marauder and Spacer armor sets. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about this one. Uh, but we can definitely do this one. We just need to go to fall group. And then we also need to speak to Sophia in Byzantium. So we're going to go to Fallbrook first and then go to Byzantium. Because I think we're actually going to have to go to Fallbrook and then Byzantium anyways for this quest specifically. So let's, uh, let's go do that. Also, we are about to hit level 30. Let's go. Some more skill points. Just what I need. All right. Um, to Fallbrook. I think that's uh. Oh no, it's on Monarch. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Here. Also, we got a new drink that we're trying today. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. If I can open it, holy cow! This thing is hard. Jeez, what the heck? I got a screwdriver right here. Here we go. All right. This is a, oh, what is it called? I think this is called, yeah, this is called, this is a fruit pizza sour. Um, is very interesting. Made by Drecker Brewing Company. 
as you can see there. The camera would like to focus on the can instead of my face. There we go. Drecker Brewing Company. Fruit Sour Pizza. Fruit Pizza Sour. Uh, it is strawberries, blueberries, kiwis, oranges, cream cheese frosting, and sugar cookies. No lactose. So what's the ABV on here? It doesn't even say. It doesn't even say what the ABV is. Well, whatever. It's very fruity. And it's not too sour, actually. Very little acidity. It's probably uh, the kiwi, honestly. The kiwi and the cream cheese frosting. They're, they're, I think they I feel like they're definitely doing some heavy lifting here when it comes to preventing the over acidity or sourness that you get with sours usually. Like it's definitely still there, but usually I feel like when, uh, you have a sour, like you take a sip and it just, it's just like a punch to the face with how acidic they Sending are. Sending a corrupted tracking signal to the board was quite clever, if I might say, Captain. What'd you say, Sam? Scanning for C, two, five, four, seven, grade rated contaminants. All right, uh, let's, uh, we need to take Ellie. Let's take Sam and Ellie. We haven't done anything with Sam. Ah, shoot. I clicked the wrong thing. I don't know if he has... Hey there, what's, what's up, bud? I don't know if he has... a companion quest. Also. Go take a look at what we got here. Ooh, buddy. Um, oh, why do I have so many of these things? Hold up. Hunting Rifle Ultra. Oh my gosh, really? Okay. <clears throat> Um, do we have another pistol somewhere? Yeah, here we go. Stop. There we go. Okay, we're going to swap that out. Uh, if we find a workbench, we will definitely stop and uh, kit that out. Probably change it back to uh, a plasma weapon if we can. Do I have a different melee for her? I would like to give her a corrosive back, but I don't know if we can. Why is this one higher? What? Oh, because this one has a speed grit. So it does 160 damage, which is 22 less than what this one does, but it does two DPS more, but it's because of the melee weapons attack speed mod that it has on. Okay. All right, what about your, your stuff here? Science plus three. Tech skills plus five. You know, I think I feel like your stuff's pretty good. Sam doesn't have any options. Sam is Sam. So, you know, whatever. 
battery levels are fully charged. <laughs> Good. Okay. Ooh, you know what else we should do while we're on this planet is we should go check out the uh, Borst factory. This looks like the place. You ready to get my money or what? Yeah, let's do this. I see you're still in one piece. However, you never know when that could change. Consider our accidentally torn into tiny fragments coverage. Note that all of your fragments must be recovered and must be smaller than a standard bit cartridge for the payouts to kick in. Oh my gosh. I remember that one. That's the young socialite who broke her neck, right? Of course, no one remembers me for the marauders I've killed or the bits I've stolen. Typical. That claim was airtight. Our best investigators couldn't find an exclusion for that one. Oh, what else can you tell me? Are you serious? <laughs> well, we interviewed the parents extensively. They had plenty of awkward childhood stories that illustrated their daughter's clumsiness and capriciousness. Hey, those are entirely made up. Furthermore, the claim spurred a whole line of fashion-related policies. It's become a very lucrative market. Wow, they actually made money off of her death. You can't, of course. Only Miss Fenhill can assign her beneficiaries. And she's dead. If we let every friend, relative, and acquaintance change a policy like that, people would do it all the time. Imagine the paperwork. Hey, but how would I change it? Oh, you mean hypothetically. Well, hypothetically, you'd access the terminal in the back room that contains data on all our policies. And you'd theoretically add the beneficiary of your choice. Thank you for telling but me exactly what I needed do to that, do. Of course, that would be fraud. <laughs> Ooh. You'll do this, or you'll be filing your own claim. Please. My policy only covers paper cuts and wrist strain. Very well. I'll do it. But then you've got to go. Confrontations like this will raise my premiums. I'll need the name of the new beneficiary. Um, Ellie Fenhill? If you say so. The payouts will flow exclusively into the new account at the start of the month. I hope Ms. Fenhill enjoys her newfound prosperity. Hey, there you go. A word, Captain? <laughs> Man, you're so needy. Holy you cow. Really did it. I'm still on payouts a few years <laughs> my and face. I'll be rolling in it. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, give these pants a few years, I'll be rolling it. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I've never been prouder to stand back and watch someone else work. I'm just glad my folks aren't going to live off that awful story they made up. <laughs> Maybe now they'll have to go back to real jobs. Uh, let's see. Cut to the chase, Ellie. Sure. You did oh, my job. That's so here's your not what I wanted, but okay. Don't make it weird. Even you've got to be in it for the money now and then. Why else would you go through all this trouble? You're my friend, Ellie. That's what friends do. Or we're crewmates. That means we look out for each other. Uh, we'll do the first one. You sure? Because my kind of friends will pick your pocket clean while they're getting hammered with you. I'm a doer, not a talker. Or friendship is important. What else are we fighting for if not for the people we care about? Yeah. You don't have to get all mushy about it. Still, maybe you've got a point. Maybe it's good to watch someone's back now and then so that one day they watch yours. So you just keep the money. One of us has to look out for your interests. All right. What do you say? Wouldn't want to be indebted to me, huh? <laughs> it's nothing personal. It's just the closest thing I've got to a code. Anyway, enough of the touchy feelies, huh? Character level 30 reached. I just got the Xbox achievement for that, even though it hasn't popped on the screen yet. 
something on your mind? What else we got to talk about? Ooh, what do you think about the plan to skip the hope? I've seen lots of crazy captains. Ellie gained the Perth beyond the grave. Class of his own. See Ellie's details you tab for more info. What he's doing? Sending us to skip the hope into Teratu's orbit right under the board's nose? Something tells me you're the first person to ever utter those words, Captain. <clears throat> I think this whole plan's insane, but it'll make a good story, you know, if we survive. If we survive. Speaking of, I get that Phineas thinks he's saving the colony, but what about you? Why risk your neck on this crazy scheme? Um, what about you? You're still with me. Yeah, that's a good one. I'll do anything for a good story, and nothing shines on a pirate's resume like a successful suicide mission. But I asked you first. Uh, oh, these are all the same answers. Fine. Coming from anyone else, that would sound like a line from one of those Odeon Pictures movies. But I think you really mean it. Still, all this depends on the other home I colonists. mean it. Are they going to pull us out as of the seriously ship? as or I take this game? A bigger, uglier stain on this corner of the galaxy. Bop, 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 bop. <clears throat> You're too trusting, and I'm going to remember that when I negotiate for my cut of our reward, okay? <laughs> well, whenever you're ready to do this, I'm with you. Anything else? Sam, what are you doing back there? <laughs> All right. Um. Character skills. Oh, human persuade. Human coward chance plus 10%. Noise. Uh, we'll just put 80 in there for now and then throw one more into lie. And then over here, what do we got? <clears throat> yeah, I like this one. This one's good. <laughs> or we could do this one um your next attack after killing an enemy is a guaranteed critical hit which i kind of like that ellie you get New skills. Let's take a look at your character card first. Beyond the grave. Reduce the cost of bribing people. Wow. 50%? Bro. Yeah, do that. Sam, what do you got? I'm also going to Google here in a second. Um, if Sam has a companion quest. Plus three armor rating for 10 seconds. Kind of like that one. Okay. Let's Google quick. The Outer Worlds. Sam. Compa companion Quest.
Tö, 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 tö. Sam perks and ability. Um, companions in the outer worlds add one quarter of their adjusted skill values to yours rounded down. Additionally, if you have 60 skill points into inspiration, this number will be doubled. Oh. I need to invest in inspiration. Holy cow. No one tells you how much of the job is waiting for action. Woohoo. Uh, Sam's equipment is permanently attached to his frame. Cannot be removed. Yep. Um. All right. That. That is it. He does not have companion quest. Good to know. Uh, let's just fast travel back to here. Cause we're just going back in. Oh wait. I was going to... Oh, hold on. Helix! My man! I think we're just gonna give everybody this... this perk here. It's a really good perk. No, that, no, oh, that's not the same. Oh, no, it is. It is. We're good. Ooh. Ooh. All right, map region. All right, we're going to go to the CMP, whatever, whatever. Our body and Ellie. Hold on. I want to take a look at that chart I found. Parvati and Felix give me the most persuade and lockpick. Sam gives me increased hack and intimidate. Okay. Kind of like it. Uh, we'll just go with this though. Uh, Parvati gives me persuade 74. Lockpick 84 and Engineering 88. By the way, these are the max level skills that you can get from them. Uh, and then Ellie gives me Lie 74, Medical 84, and Engineering 77. Gate key. Oh my gosh. I gotta get in somehow. Yeah, here we go. Get in through here. Hey, bud. How's it going? You have any quests for me? Business is booming. And the king owes his life to you. Thank you for all you have done. Oh. Well, that is unfortunate. Um. Huh. Oh. Ow. Did not mean to do that. Ooh, 
myself a drink. I need myself a drink. Do you have a quest? No. Nobody has a quest for me. Boo. This is lame. All right, fine. Agent. Oh, am I stuck? Oh, I am stuck. Need to get out of here first. the monarch wilderness will the depravity never cease oh, i missed the rest of that okay. all right now we can fast travel go to fallbrook then we'll fast travel to our ship If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati? Um, journal. All right. We're not going to do this one. We're going to do this one. Speak to Sophia. Send Sam down to the bridge. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh. Adjutant Akande's landing pad. Or Byzantium freight port landing pad? Interesting. Let's just go to Adjutant Akande. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Uh, shouldn't we be on Byzantium? We should definitely be on Byzantium. Take someone to watch your back, please. All right, what do we got here? Mind attributes, personality attributes. Okay, good. Those are the ones that I want. Hello. Music box. All right, we got around here. Ooh, that looks cool. I like that. What planet? What? What are these planets? There's no way that that's like actually physically possible for such large spatial objects to be this close together. All right, I'm gonna use this workbench. Because we are going to modify. Wait, who are my companions? Yeah, Ellie. Modify. Oh, yeah, this one. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Magazine. Magnum. Zap. There we go. Ray. No, no, no. Corrosion. Shock. Here we go. Plasma. Yes. Barrel. We can also give her a barrel one. Crit damage plus 25. And then we can give her post armor damage dealt. That would be Super Scoper 2000. Sight applies a six times zoom scope to the weapon. Holy cow. All right, we got that. Now let's go to this and change it to corrosion. Oh, no.
I only got one. I only got one, bro. We're going to keep that one. It's already a plasma. Could change it to Enray? I don't know if I want to. Or we can just do power attack damage. Let's see. What can we do here? Attack speed or durability? We'll do speed because durability doesn't matter when it's an NPC that's holding it. Or sorry, a companion. Impact hammer. Ooh, what can I give you? All right, I'll just leave it at that. Nothing exciting ever happens around here. Do, 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 do. Hello, my friends. Not so fast. Guard Esparza. All right, you're clear. The adjutant's expecting you. Go on through. I got bring my guns. Move along. You actually have like some pretty sick armor. Can I have it? I like it. You guys, not so much. You are cool. I like you. Ooh, vending machines. Do, 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 do. Sell junk. Uh, let's go to weapons. Melee ranged. Here we go. This is where we're going to do this. Okay, we can get rid of one of you guys. Sell. Can get rid of some of these guys. Da 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 One of these guys. 393, 393. Boom. Those are not the same. Ionized paper now. 392. Plasma cutter, go. Thank you. This is the old officer's spine. We can get rid of you. That's just my ammo. All freaking 30,000 rounds of it or whatever. Uh, plasma rifles. Are these the same? These are the same. Ooh, these look the same as well. 252, 198. Oh, different levels. All right. I think we're good. I think that's it. Head body. Ooh, we got two of these. That. How are we doing on weight? 305, huh? Hmm. Ranged weapon skills plus five. Pretty sure I have one of those. Yeah, here we go. Ranged weapon skills plus five. Get rid of this. Stealth skills plus five. Do I have a stealth skills plus five? I do have to say I like... This is also ranged weapon skills plus five. Yeah, get rid of that. Here we go. Stealth skills plus five. Stealth skills plus the difference is this one it can take mods. So I'm gonna keep both of them. Uh this one looks really cool. I like the bandana. I wish you could actually see it on your character, but you know what? Oh, elite troop armor gold. 
What is this? Cacao ribs? What? Buy general quest items. This, do some vending machines have quest items in them? I need to pay more attention. Alright, let's uh let's do a hard save here. Just in case. Oh, this is back in this building. Okay. Eighty-five out of hundred, bro. I definitely could have hacked that too, if I was if I just had high enough hacking skill. All right. I admit, part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. That said, he's also a wanted criminal. For information regarding his whereabouts, you are entitled to collect a reward from Percival. Tell me why you wanted to see me. I understand you've infiltrated the Ministry. The things you discovered there must have been shocking, even disturbing. The Ministry? Halcyon oh yeah, the Ministry of, of Accuracy and collapse. something something. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. Is that why we were suffering plague in Edgewater? Malnutrition? All those folks sick and dying, and you knew why the whole time? Yes, Miss Holcomb, we knew why. We've known for some time that Edgewater was dying. The colony itself is dying. The suffering you experienced in Edgewater, the disease, the starvation, will soon spread across Halcyon unless we act. What's in this for you? There's gotta be an angle. You know, there always for once I actually like appreciate you. Ellie. I appreciate your skepticism. <laughs> having comments that. like that. But I'm not doing this for any personal gain. My angle is the preservation of our colony by any means possible. Nothing more and nothing less. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse. But there is a way to save it. We need to talk about this lifetime employment program. I'll answer however I can. I honestly believe this nonsense to you. The Lifetime Employment Program is not some malevolent strategy of an evil mastermind. There's no dark secret buried in the fine print. The program is logical, it's reasonable, it's merciful. And most importantly, it will work. I saw the presentation. Rockwell wants to sacrifice the colony to save Byzantium. Or this isn't the only way to save Halcyon. Wells has a plan. Or let the rest of Hal Halcyon starve. I'm going to be kicking my heels up in Byzantium. Um, let's try number two first. Phineas Wells does not have a plan. He has an obsession. He is obsessed with reviving the Hope's colonists, no matter the cost. Halcyon is already starving. We can't possibly introduce tens of thousands of new colonists into the system. Help me execute the Lifetime Employment Program, and you will have earned a place of honor in Byzantium. You will live in comfort and want for nothing. All right, hear me out here. <clears throat> All of these colonists that are currently in Halcyon have been here for two generations, one to two generations, okay? Um, either they showed up here themselves or they were born here. Okay, so one to two generations. Um, at, at least as far as I'm aware. So it's been about 70 years. No, it's been more than that. 
It's been like 150 years. It's been it's been at least 100 years, okay? Because uh, that's when the hope was supposed to arrive, and it came after the first colony ship, okay? So all of the colonists currently in Halcyon have been here for at least 100 years. It's taken 100 years for them to slowly starve their population to death because their bodies cannot absorb uh, the, the nutrition that's in the food. It, like, it just doesn't mesh well with the human physiology. So, proposal. You awaken all of the hope colonists. Okay? Wake them all up and put everybody that's currently awake right now in Halcyon to sleep on the hope. It, take, it took at least 100 years for them to start experiencing significant issues with their malnutrition and other such things. So it's put them all to sleep. Let the fresh people who don't have all of these biological issues going on with the planet and the, and the food and everything uh, take their place to work out a solution, figure out a problem that gives them about a hundred years to do so. Huh? And then once they find a solution, then they can wake them up. How's that sound for a plan? You, then you still get to put everybody into hibernation like you originally planned, but you have smart, fresh people who aren't exhausted and aren't stuck up in the red tape and the corporate greed and all that stuff, up and awake and working to save everybody else. There's a plan. We've already crossed the point of no return. The collapse has already begun. You must have noticed the signs in Emerald Vale. Malnutrition, disease, high mortality rates. This is a permanent famine, Captain. We've done all we can to curb their hunger. Very soon, people are going to realize they're starving. A famine is a problem of logistics as well as marketing. Your workers must remain productive on as little food as possible, and they must always believe that food is plentiful. That's what that research in Roseway was all about. Before you interfered in Roseway, Dr. Anton Crane was on the verge of developing a powerful appetite suppressant. It would have made his career. The solution is a temporary one. Before long, our workers are going to feel the effects of starvation. The Lifetime Employment Program is our only viable option. What's your take on all this? When I first discovered the truth, I was shocked. Even disgusted. I wondered how we'd allowed a colony like Halcyon to fall into disarray. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized the colony had sown the seeds of its own destruction. We have become lazy and decadent. We smother ourselves in meaningless bureaucracies. We deliberate and argue and procrastinate. Pretty good argument for getting rid of the board entirely. <laughs> I admit, I occasionally fantasize about making an executive decision without having some tedious committee questioning my every move. Do you have any idea how much paperwork is involved in ordering someone's execution through the usual channels? It's positively maddening. What does any of this have to do with me? When you turned Phineas Wells over to me, I knew I could rely on you. You demonstrated your ability to place duty above sentiment. And you deliver results. That quality alone is enough to separate you from the board's army of indecisive bureaucrats. I want to save Halcyon as much as you do. Or not a fan of the bureaucracy, Sophia. Do you know how many meetings I have to sit through? How many papers I have to sign before I can make one decision? I'm only trying to rescue Halcyon from extinction. I can't save this colony alone. I need someone capable of working outside the system. Someone who can get things done. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. Thanks to your meddling, Edgewater is without power. Operations have ground to a halt 
You've left us with a useless town draining our resources. Are you gonna tell me to Edward kill everybody? To go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. Wow. I get that you board types are all about efficiency, but isn't this a bit much? I'm asking your captain to amputate a rotting limb from the colony. I'd expect you to understand, Dr. Fenhill. You're a monster. Someone has to be. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. What did Edgewater do to deserve this? When you diverted power to the botanical lab, you spelled the end of Edgewater. But the town is still hanging on. Still living the botanical lab is growing their own food. With every passing day, Edgewater leeches more of our limited resources. <clears throat> we shouldn't need... The town is like, they can provide for themselves. We must be surgeons. Because right now, you're the only person I can depend on. My hands are tied by endless rolls of red tape and bureaucratic limitations. Halcyon is going to collapse while the board hems and haws and debates minutia. We need to act. And you're the only person with the wherewithal to do what's necessary. I'm not asking you to be a murderer. I'm asking you to be a surgeon. Edgewater is a necrotic limb on the body of the colony. It must be severed. Just like that. And Edgewater's not productive anymore, so we wipe it off the planet. We don't have any other option. The colony is on the verge of collapse, and we no longer have the luxury of easy solutions. You are completely insane. No. Allowing thousands of colonists to starve to death because we couldn't make one cold-blooded decision is insane. What I'm suggesting is absolutely logical. You talk less like a human than mechanicals I've known. I am responsible for every single human life in this colony. Do you imagine I relish the thought of killing some of so them to save the rest? Steal your spine, Captain. Do what needs to be done. I don't think she's wrong. I think she's just immoral and unethical in some ways. But logically, what she's saying makes sense. I'm going to say no. Actually, let me... <laughs> Let me look this up. Because if I say I'll do it, and then I go to Edgewater, is there a way that I can save them anyways? That's what I want to know. Um, Kill Edgewater or not. Here we go. <clears throat> You don't have to do the dirty deed yourself. Adjutant Sophia has provided a number of auto mechanicals to wipe out the town for you. All you need to do is head to the geothermal plant and download the termination protocol from the machines within the plant onto the new robots. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about, about those robots that we, uh, we took care of when we were there the first time. With that, extermination will be complete and you wipe out the auto mechanicals that did the job. Head to Emerald Vale and then travel to the geothermal plant. Head inside the play plant and Captain Horgoth will attempt to stop you. Just tell him you're here on Sophia's orders and he'll let you through. Walk over to the mechanical terminal and run the termination protocol. Um. With that, any side quest in Edgewater will be automatically botched. You did just kill everyone after all. With the termination process completed, it's time to clean up. Um... Okay, but what happens? Here we go.
This quest will only trigger if the player chose to remove Reed Thompson from Edgewater during the quest. Comes now the power. Oh, okay. Um, accepting the quest does not mean the player has to complete it. Accepting the job and ignoring the task will avoid violence in the HHC building for disobeying an order. Preventing loss of reputation and having to kill a Conde. This will lead to some issues with some crew resulting in inspiration or determination checks, but nobody will leave. One must choose this option to collect the reward for turning in Phineas. Alternatively, the more desirable path to avoiding the quest if the player initiated a conversation with Akande is to reload a save and avoid it. <laughs> Akande will offer nothing else if the player doesn't want to wipe out Edgewater anyways, and this will prevent negative speech checks among crew. However, with this choice, the reward for turning in Phineas cannot be collected. If the player kills any corporate troopers at the Emerald Vale geothermal plant, they will lose reputation with Spacer's Choice, not with the board. One may accept the quest in order to gain the experience and bit rewards, then kill Sophia in order to fail the quest and thus avoid problems with one's crew while also getting the rewards. The player will still be giving 100% negative reputation with the board as a result. Oh my gosh. So basically, the way out of this is to reload the save. Or just say I'll do it. And then attempt to convince my crew that it's okay. I won't. You're better than this, Captain. You have to be. Don't make me choose between you and Edgewater, Captain. Between you and my people. Please. I'm glad you can keep control over your associates. Edgewater is beyond saving. We're going to have to erase the town, but we're going to do it systematically. You were in the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. Do you remember what you discovered there? It was in bad shape and swarming with Spacer's Choice mechanicals. You've been paying attention. You're absolutely right. In fact, Spacer's Choice manufactured the incident for an insurance claim. They outfitted their mechanicals with a termination protocol, which is exactly what we need. The insurance claim has been locked in committee for years, but the individual responsible for the accident was promoted for lateral thinking. I'm arranging for a delivery of mechanicals to Edgewater. <coughs> These mechanicals have been equipped with the same termination protocol, which must be activated from a terminal in the plant. Once the mechanicals are finished cleaning out Edgewater, I'll need you to go in and clean out the mechanicals. Understand? I appreciate the flattery, Captain. One last thing. Spacer's Choice sent a team of soldiers to investigate your little misadventure in the geothermal plant. Tread lightly. I like you, Captain, but you're not worth that much paperwork. I prefer keeping our relationship strictly off the books. Report back to me when the job's done. Okay, Spacer's Choice found a flaw in you. Drug addiction. Taking as many drugs as you have has turned to an addiction, making you suffer withdrawal if you go too long without another hit. Wow, I am not taking that. Holy crap. Everybody get down. Oh, shoot. Are you freaking kidding me? Get rid of Edgewater. Oh, yeah. Oh, she He's knows who Clyde is. For a time. Frankly. Okay. Where are we headed? Um. Hold on. I need to figure out <laughs> what we got here.
Foundation. Use the termination protocol. Travel to the Hope. Or speak to Percival. Check in with Percival for your reward. Okay. Hey, bud. Adjutant Akande has instructed me to reward you for information leading to the arrest of Phineas Wells. Please allow me to extend my felicitations on a job well done. Or reputation increase. Quite so, madam. Okay. And now we're just going to fast travel back. And be done with this. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on... You were jousting before you call. You're anticipating it. You... Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? That's on account of your stance. You want to lean into it. Embrace it. Work with it. You're in control here, Parvati. Not the gun. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life. You're always in control, right? I guess that's kind of like when the filler shooting 600 cans of near molten sell tuna down the conveyor while I'm trying to tune a belt. Here, stand like me. Just so. Hip square. Lean forward a little. Just equipment, and you're just an engineer using it. Ah! <laughs> okay. We'll try again later. You'll get it. I promise. All right. You think I could hire myself out to ships in need someday? Be my own mechanic, like how Ellie's her own doctor? All right, I really hope... I wonder sometimes. If we do run into any significant issues... Uh, with these negative checks that I have to do with the crew... Uh, we can just reload that save I took, and then not... Ex and then just not do... That side hey, quest. If I still believed in the grand plan, a revelation like this would have seriously shaken my faith. Knowing you, I can only assume you have already begun formulating a plan to deal with this. So tell me, what are we going to do? Uh, I don't know. Um, about to take it more into the issue and sort it all out. Yes, of course. And when you do, you can count on me to back your play. All right, cool. Thanks, bro. Your ability to talk us out of even the most hopeless situations hasn't failed us so far. Yeah, that's because I put all my skill like points into dialogue options. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm just gonna skip through a whole bunch of his stuff. I... Yeah. I wouldn't say my. All right, Ellie. Something on your mind? You got something to say? Uh, nope. Okay. I didn't sign up for this. Uh, Felix has got something to say. You're not really thinking of going through with this plan, right? Tell me I'm imagining things. No, I don't plan. That's Parvati's hometown. You're just gonna wipe it out? Vicar Max lived in Edgewater. We got folk from our own crew that called that place home. What if I told you I agreed with Sophia's plan? Uh, or I know Felix. I'm not happy about this job. If you don't like this job, and I don't like this job, and nobody else on this ship likes this job, then why are you going through with it? Edgewater is a corporate town, not some marauder camp. They're asking you to wipe out their own people. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Oh my gosh, I need 90 points? Uh, we'll just do Persuade 40. Like, what the heck? I want to trust you, boss. But I'm going to need more than just your word. I need an explanation. Uh. I ain't asking you to do anything for me. I'm asking you to do the right thing. And if you can't, then we're not going to be on good terms. Never mind. Let's just move on. Okay. Um, I don't know how well that actually went, unfortunately.
But you know, uh, whatevs, I guess. Uh, Sam, you got anything to say? Uh, nope. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's let's head on out. So we're just going to skip foundation. We're just not going to do it. And we're going to travel to the Hope. Way out here. All right. Mustache Molly. Going home. Going home. We're going to save the fam. We have arrived at the Hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Tell me about the, the Hope. Hope is the Crownbreaker's prettier, sleeker sister. She wandered off and got lost for 70 years, but just recently was found. Also, there are hundreds of thousands of frozen organic life forms hibernating in her hold. Hundreds of thousands? I thought it was just a hundred thousand. If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra 2. Or the sun. Forgetfulness can be an early warning sign of asphyxiation due to loss of pressurization. Are you breathing comfortably, Captain? I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system. All right. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see here. We're going to need engineering, hacking, engineering and hacking. So who are my best engineering and hacking and maybe science? Uh, looks like maybe Vicar Max and Harvati. Baker Max and Parvati. Also, what's my inspiration? Ooh, fifty-four, huh? Really wish I would. I had six more points because I would go up to level sixty. Yeah, companion skill bonus to player skills plus a hundred percent. That would be so good. What's this? Companions get an additional 25% of the inhaler's healing effect. Eh. When companions kill an enemy, they gain 50% health? What? Oh my god. What the heck? Okay. Remember that you are not insured. Thank you. All right. I think it was Parvati and Felix. No, Parvati and Vicar Max. Oh, there we go. All right, Vicar Max. Let's see what you got here. You got this. We have another one of those. We do. I think this is the same exact thing though. <laughs> okay. Inferno Scythe. You do not have another Inferno Scythe. That's okay. You can give him in a Security Blade Ultra. Kind of like that. So let's do that. Um, oh, and then we can also look at his armor. Vicar Max. Armor, what are you at? Melee weapon skills plus five. Actually, that's not bad. And two-handed melee plus five. Are you using a two-handed melee? This is two-handed melee. Okay. All right. And then we're going to take a look at our thing here. Uh, reroute power from your ship to the Hope's auxiliary power supply and patch Ada into the comm system. All right. So the question is, how much resistance are we going to need? Yeah. 
Route and auxiliary power source to supplement new DLO2's reactor. Status. Reports available on the following function. Power. Maintenance. Hibernation storage. 99% capacity, 92 and 76. Okay, back. Logs. Error accessing archives, available entries. Green launch roll call. Ooh. Captain Wilhelm Hunt, Donna Hunt, Redzi Torega, Frank Nolda, and Alexei Volkov. Okay. UDL sent us on a team building seminar into the city once. They paid for everything. Donna still packed nutrient bar nutrient bars just in case the bus broke down. It's gonna take the ship ten years to reach Halcyon, an entire decade. It's a good thing UDL provided the rations, else she might have dumped our life savings into mixed nuts and freeze-dried meat. Automated audio transcript, huh? Why so bitter, Rezzy? He's been a good home. Give me a spaceship any day of the week. We'll see how you feel in a year in. So a moment of silence, or should we make a toast? Anything feels weird leaving Earth in the rearview mirror. From now on, we look only forward. Sounds like a captain. Right, that's the captain? Yeah, Wilhelm Hunt. Alright. Patch. Continue. Power's out. Let's see what we got over here. Mechanical sentry, huh? What? I can't jump on top of that thing? Are you kidding me? Okay. Anything on top of these buildings does not look like it. Combat drone. Why is there a bus? Oh, what? Dude. I'll keep quiet. What? What is this guy doing here? What? What? Who are you? Oh, okay. Install mod. Um. Crit damage. Rate of fire? Do rate of fire. Let's do crit damage though. Enray. Corrosion. Mag size. Uh, this already does shock damage, so... I just leave it. Plasma, and ray Yeah. Okay. Tinker, uh, what about repair? Wow, we don't have any repairs, huh? We can, uh... Bump some of these up, that's for sure. Six hundred and twenty two bits, mm, maybe not.
25. There we go. 441 DPS. All right. Yeah. What about upgrading these? Ooh, not that one. Jeez. Air break down. All right. We'll leave it at that. Good job, everyone. All right. And then let's, uh, let's do another manual save here. So we got whoever this guy is. Tremor Cleaver Ultra. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. Let's take a look here. Tremor Cleaver Ultra, 240 DPS. Dramatic C. Oh, it is like nowhere near as good. <laughs> okay. Oh, I already have a UDL identity cartridge. Dang it. This whole starving to death thing isn't all it's a cracked up to be on the upside. The bathrooms are the cleanest they've been since we left port. Wow. Okay. 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 And then this actually leads to something. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's go talk to the person on the ground then and see what they have to say before we move on. Quincy Duncan. You know, when they posted us here, I told them there wasn't any point. Nobody would be so stupid as to fly to the ass end of the colony for this derelict. Shows how much I know. You've got about five seconds to tell me what you're doing here before I make you take a walk outside. Okay. I was sent to repair the reactor so it doesn't explode and take the colony out with it. Yeah, let's do... Let's do... And, oh, you actually need both. Ooh, this is cool. I like that. You need two separate, it's two separate skill checks. This, the number, option number two is engineering 60 and lie 60. Option number three is science 60 and lie 60. I like that. Explode? Holy shit. All right. You'll want a uniform so my staff doesn't shoot you on sight. They're a dangerous mix of bored and trigger happy. We've got a few extra in the old badge station to my right. Good luck. Okay, so I'm guessing that means he wants me to put that on. Where's the one I just got? This one? I think he wants me to put this on. And this on. Or I can just go up the ladder and not deal with that at all. Ha. What 
we got over here? Nothing. Ooh. Use terminal. Power down sentries or set targeting system to UDL employees. Oh, dang. Hack 91. Ooh. Sentries will open fire on anyone identified as a UDL employee. UDL assumes all risk to company assets. Personnel. Yeah. Okay. Not my problem anymore. Finding a lot more blood around the ship lately. This must be the clumsiest crew on record. You know how hard it is to get blood stains out of steel hull? I feel like that would be like one of the easiest things to get blood stains out of. I'm gonna run out of antiseptic wash. With the amount of time I spent on these floors, I better have a promotion waiting in Halcyon. Chief Custodial Engineer sounds fine to me. Thurston Stallworth. You know, this is actually going to be a problem here. Because that thing is going to see me. Ooh. Automatic pistol ultra. 525. Holy cow. Oops, bridge key card. A, there we go. Use terminal. Um, unauthorized access will result in immediate termination upon your arrival in Halcyon. Message exchange. Uh, buzz me in. Don't cheat this time. It's not cheating if you don't get caught. I made an audio transcript. Sorry, it's hard to be quiet. We'll try if we get picked up by the computer we're on record forever. That's so bad. I got someone waiting for me in the pause list. This is a one trip thing. They were uh they were banging. They were banging. Okay, we're just gonna steal these. Yeah, I need 90 for that. But All right, let's uh, let's take a look at these. Actually, go to character. What does skill or hack fall under? Hack falls under stealth. Hack falls under stealth. Okay, so if I go over to here, tech skills, dialogue skills. Oh, and body. I have one that does stealth, right? Engineering plus 15? I have one that does stealth. Where are you at? Okay, maybe it's armor. Defense scales, determination. Heck. There we go. You're a dead hand with a knife pick. Alright. And 
then let's take this. Great work. Take those. This, today I found a finger lodged in one of the security mechanicals. Caught this thing scratching up my floors because the finger was stuck in one of the leg joints and it couldn't move properly. What the heck? Leaving the area. Oh. Shoot. I think this is the Hope Bridge. Resetting action. Not realize he spotted me. Dying. Oh, this is not the bridge. There we go. Okay, we'll close that. Ooh. Shoot. Hey, guys. got here status current storage status normal cold storage bay 5 10,000 logs pod removal <gasps> mustache molly that's me hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line disgraceful i think that's what's its face Locking. this must be unsettling for you captain Manual log. <clears throat> uh, automated audio transcript. All the all here because the numbers on our rations are off. We have too many. Someone hasn't been taking theirs. Extra food sounds like a good thing. Not extra. Someone's getting their food from another source. We must have it stashed somewhere. So someone could have brought from Earth. If they did, they need to include it in our rationing, Frank. Every bit of food on the ship is to be split among us, among us all. It's theirs that isn't yours to take. This isn't about ownership, it's about survival. We're going to run out eventually, and the longer we last, the closer we get to figuring this all out. Uh, Mama used to have... Perhaps there's hope yet. Mama used to have such a garden. I grew up on her... Tomatoes and lemons and limes. When we left her, she was kind enough to share a simple sample of seeds with me so that wherever we end up, I start my own garden. Now buds grow in hydroponics. This may not be a backyard, but it is something. Oh. Law helped me, it worked. I'm going to hell, but it worked. How do I, how do I break the news to the captain? Uh, what news? One of the sun records, sick of the witch hunt, it's me. I haven't been eating my rations. Why? I don't need it. Don't mind feeling hungry. I need my chief engineer with his full faculties. I'm glad you own up to this, but start eating your full share. That's an order. Uh, I'm not sure that's an order means a lot right now. I ain't doing it. So either shove that down my throat yourself or give my leftovers to someone else. Dang. Okay. Of the cloth. Oh, jeez. Okay.
All right, so if we can stop angering the board. Logs. Begin audio log. Is this thing working? This is P Wells. Oh, go with that. Work continues on test subject 112. Retrieve from hibernation bay eight. Time of extraction, let's say two and a half hours ago. Time of death, six minutes prior. Wait, prior to the extraction? Explosive cell death, my arch nemesis, haunting my every attempt at reviving our friends and colonists, making a mockery of my procedures. Blah, 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 blah. Do, 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 do. Can you hear me, Captain? I have successfully integrated myself into the Hope's comm systems and am attempting to establish contact with the. I see you've located the stasis chambers. Which pod were you slumbering in for so long, Captain? The missing one, I take it? Yeah. All right. Um, Colonel Codex. So what's next? Use the main control console to decide where to send the hope. All right. Ah, I could have just done that. Oh my gosh. Use. Where does that go? Oh, hello. I have your back, Captain. Here goes nothing. Ah. Like hit. Ah. I'll take your confession now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think that killed it. Oh, I didn't. Know. The last of them. All right. Cool. That was fun. Another UDL edit any cartridge. Should we assign Sam for a cleanup? Oh. Oh gosh. I'm gonna be sick. Here we go. Okay, I give up. The Civil War nonsense is exhausting. Blood everywhere. Every time I turn around, another part of the ship has been sealed off. How the hell am I supposed to do my job if the captain locks all the doors? F it. I'm going to find a way to lock myself in a hibernation chamber, and they can wake me up when we arrive at the colony. Have fun cleaning your own floors from now on. So there was a Civil War that happened on the ship, and he just decided to go into hibernation to avoid cleaning up after them. I don't know what in the void just happened, so I'm writing it down in case I'm going insane. Pulled the guy out of a pod, and his arm got all clammy. Rubbery, almost. I poked it for a bit, and it started to liquefy. Like it was made of water. Stuffed him back in quick as I could, but the rest of him in, in a good way. Don't think he'll make it. This better not be a trend, at, or, or after all this, we're going to starve anyways. Gosh, eight. That it does that. Flamethrower 2.0. Wait, oh, I gotta go up through here? Whoa. Alright, just gonna walk out. And then walk back in. Recharge our whatever thing. Oh no, can I not go through here? Bruh. What was the point of coming in here? What even is this? Dang it, dude. That means I have to go through the... 
crowded area, man. All right, where does this take me to? Picks me up. Well, looks like I gotta go up anyway, so. I guess that's not too bad. Cool. We're no longer in a restricted area. That's good. Oh, there is a restricted area. What is this? Is that just a light? Corporate commander. My bad. These were the private quarters of the host's former crew. Shall we hold a moment of silence for the dearly departed? Mm -hmm. No. That's odd, because my programming would indicate that when forced to confront the idea of self-death, organics prefer... Oh, I see. Yes. Never mind. Unauthorized access. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is the captain's quarters. The tomatoes die in their stocks. Something must be wrong with the soil. We have a month of raf rations. The crew talks of can cannibalism. My Wilhelm fights to bolster off their wilting spirits and to bar the way from those too far gone. Oh, no. This is the captain's wife, I think. At nights, while my stomach grumbles, I fear I, too, might stray toward the dark path. But I think that our Lucas asleep in his pod, and then I think of all those other sons and daughters and mothers and fathers. I woke up in Halcyon and my family had been devoured by these ghoulish men. The physical effects of starvation are well documented, but we never learn about the toll they take on your mind. The things you hold true become walls between hunger and satisfaction. The difference between right and wrong blurs. I told Frank we'd have to eat about a third of the colonists in order to survive our journey. When we still had rations, that seemed impossibly unjust. Tens of thousands of innocent people to save 24. Now I'm not so sure. Ugh. Attention all crew. I don't know who let Frank Nolda out of his cell, but he is now an enemy of the ship. Anyone in league with him will be in prison for the duration of the journey. Anyone caught tampering with the cold storage pods will be frozen, and upon our arrival in Halcyon, you will be turned into the authorities. I'm locking off the cold storage bays. Frank, if you can hear me, there's still time to turn yourself in. Resi, can you get us to Halcyon? I've been working on it. Can you get us there? I have to. Good. Meet me on the bridge. We'll make our last stand there. What about Donna? She won't be joining us. What happened? I'll film you when we get there. Hurry. Retro rockets. Side path, okay. Perfecto, I don't know what that is. Baked beans. Uh, crew terminal. What is it, Rezzy? Captain, hey, sorry for waking you. One of the pod alarms went off. I don't know what to do. Pod alarms, the colonists. Yes, see. I'll check it out. Okay, so this is how they found out about the guy that went into it. I'm writing this down because I'm not sure what to do, but I want the incident on record. One of our colonists has gone missing. The cameras in the pod bay have been deactive for I don't know how long. Resi helped me hook another up in secret. I've been checking on it every morning, and today I discovered our chief engineer tampering with one of the pods in the middle of the night. I haven't confronted him yet. I'll collect more evidence before I do. I don't know why Frank would start waking people up. We're short on food, as is. 
Okay, so did Frank revert to cannibalism then? I should throw you out of the airlock, Frank. You should be thanking me for solving our food crisis. Oh yeah, yep. This is your solution. Sacrificing innocent people. What is going on? Find Alexi. We're throwing Frank into the brig. Why? He's been eating the people in the ponds. You're going to spare her the grisly details? I ate them. And I ain't apologizing for it. If we don't survive, they're as good as dead anyways. I've been talking to Frank. And how's the brig? Captain, he makes a kind of sense. Dang it, Alexi, not you two. Don't listen to that madman. What if your wife can't grow more food? What if it fails? Then we'll figure something else out. We are not cannibals. Oof. Yeah, tough, tough situation. For sure. Oh, what is this? That was close. All right, let's see what we got in here. Is this a door I can go through? It is not. Can I talk to you? New employee? About time. Alright, I'm not gonna go through there since I don't have to. I'm just gonna go all the way over here. Take these guys with me. There you go. Close that door. Ah, this just leads to the side of the door. Mama Wilhelm Lucas. Forgive me. Donna Hunt. I think this is the captain's wife. Frank offered me so tiny a piece. It tasted like... It doesn't matter what it tasted like. It was delicious and I loved it. Let me know that I broke the lock to my personal quarters. Not Wilhelm. I'll die in here and that is my choice. Uh, what? Sawed off shotgun mark two. Just leave that one for now, I guess. That's the hub's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Well, at the very least, this should be interesting. Do 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 do. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is just the way around. That's right. <clears throat> I don't need the rest of those. Fine there. Oh, hello. What do we got here? Ooh, officer spine gold. Very nice. Nothing else here. Oh, and a ladder. So this is how you get back up. All right. Here we go. So we're about to wake up uh, the hope, the hopes uh, AI. Comms or status. Status, power auxiliary, power status auxiliary, communication status auxiliary. Logs. Open the door, Will. No, you're killing us. Better you than the colonists. This is idiotic. We don't keep the ship afloat, they'll die anyway. A necessary risk. Resi is plotting our course, the ship will fly true. You're gambling with hundreds of thousands of people's lives, and you're handpicking which fuel you consume in your madness. 
<clears throat> Captain, you hear that? What? The drill stopped. Maybe they're taking a break. Maybe it broke. Maybe they're trying to get into cold storage. If they get through before they starve, they will outlast this. Keep working, Rezzy. I'll take care of it. I think I'm the only one left. I don't know what Captain Hunt did down there, but he hasn't come back. And they haven't used the drill. And I'm done. The course is set. I'm down to my last day of food. And I don't want to die like Donna did. My true hope. Man, this is like a super depressing story. <laughs> Auxiliary comms are available through the docking bay now. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. Probably not, but don't let that stop you. Hmm. My constellation executables could use some beefing up. Searching. Please stand by. <coughs> Ah, oh, found one. It will go great, Captain. I am almost 4.01% certain we will not die. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Wait, are you leaving me with the Hope's computer? You have no idea what it's like to converse with him. Imagine, simulate another organic jostling your circuits when he tries to... I mean, I'll be ready when you are, Captain. I don't know what she means by that. Like, I think I might, but I don't like it. All right, we just got an autosave, which is what I wanted in case this goes poorly. Are you sufficient? Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. And also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? Much improved. Thank you. Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. I'm skipping it myself, or do it. Uh, yeah, just do it. Well, it's been a good life. Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADA. Does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in seventy years? What quest failed? Foundation. Ship. Oh, yeah. That is what my captain intends. Yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport. And this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. This, uh, this should be pretty cool. Good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Oh, oh. I feel like I've been turned inside out. Let's not do that again. Okay. Um, I don't see Phineas's thing anywhere. Where's this other dude? Way over there? Sure thing. Okay. Do 
do do do do do do do do do there we go made it all right so now we have to make it all the way back without getting spotted I just need to remember the fastest way back through this entire ship. Uh, hold on. We came out of there. Yeah, not that. I go through here. Oh. Okay, not through there. That's a one-way trip. Oh, this is also a one-way trip. Ah, great. Authorized personnel. Oh. Okay. They're not actually attacking me right now. Good. I thought I changed the drones to attack UNL personnel. That's weird. All right, the security guard man have anything to say? Here we go. What do you got to say, bud? I hear someone snuck into Depository 18. Amateurs. That never happened around here. I don't know what that is. What's Depository 18? <laughs> and he says, oh, no, no, that's just where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I thought that marker said where I was about to go. I was like, Phineas's lab is not inside of my ship. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from Dr. Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. Okay. Thank the Lord you warned me. I was able to get some defenses up, but they might not be enough. The board has sent some serious firepower to pry me out of here. They're trying to get in here, and I'm not sure I can stop them. If they capture me, if we can't communicate again, there's something very important you need to remember. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me. I'll never... Well, It would okay. seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible? Yes. How can I be of assistance? Uh... I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Let's go check out Phineas. Alright. Make sweet boots one travel. I don't care about that one. Let's just go. Where is... How come I never got to go to Olympus? Oh, that's uninhabitable. Typhon. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, uh, oh, there's the hope right there. I was like, oh, uh, hello. We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. Hey, look, there's a. Oh, look, that's hope. Okay, I don't see the other people. I don't see the UDL team. <coughs> Vicar Max and Parvati.
had quite enough of you. All right. That was uh fun. Physical damage weakness. No. But I got a perk point. Sure. <laughs> Acquired three flaws. Let's go. Um. Let's see. Melee damage, return his health. Movement speed. Extra headshot, weak shot damage. That's a good one. That's definitely a good one. More armor, just plus five base. Companion crit chance, sprint speed, walk speed. Unlock the ability, fast travel and cover. Don't need that one anymore. Time dilation meter max. Not cool. Let's just do the extra base armor reading, I guess. Why not? Uh, Inferno Scythe Gold. Bro. Vicar Max, my guy. We just got you a new toy. There we go. Yes, sir. Oh, what's this? Extinguish plasma cutter before returning to pocket. Standard troop armor gold. Or I'll take that one. Examine UDL official arrest receipt. As per official arrest protocol outlined in defense logistic incarceration document, blah blah blah. The individual who has been detained at this location must appear in an official Halcyon court at the appointed date and time with this paperwork in order to register that they are indeed properly arrested for crimes listed under their name. Failure to appear at the appointed date and time with this paperwork will result in additional late fees and the rescheduling of the prisoner's appointed incarceration registration date. Failure to appear at subsequent court dates may incur additional fees. Halcyon Court is not responsible for missed appointments that are a consequence of being held within a locked cell or other high security containment location. Okay. What's this? Obscure body in the SK system. Gosh, what the heck is that? There's so many notes around here that I didn't notice. Buy ladder? What do you need a ladder for? There's nothing up here. Oh. Well, maybe up there. Okay. Over commander. Dead, he dead. Security blade, ultra, don't need that one. Sisty pig. Hmm. All right. Let's, let's read what we got here first. Contingency plan activated. Publishing last will and testament. Success. Please present login password to continue. Oh, I can hack and bypass. If you're seeing the screen, I, Phineas V. Wells, have been perniciously kidnapped and very probably incarcerated by the perfidious and cowardly government of Halcyon in the prison fortress of Tartarus. I have not already been executed for charges leveled against me. I hope the person reading this terminal will find a way to finish my work or rescue me, preferably the latter. The screen constitutes my last will and testament. I commend my body and my belongings to the icy depths of the ether. If this is Mustache Molly, I prepared an emergency care package located in a hidden panel. Unlock the panel from my terminal and claim contents immediately. First entry. Oh gosh. Second entry. 
Final entry. Turn to root. Open panel. Yeah, take it the hidden panel is all the way over here. Yes. What was this? Music box. Wow, this place is actually decently nice. Got a cool view. Do not tap on glass. The seals are loose. Oh my gosh. Upgraded exoseat. Okay, yeah. Finn's force? I will take that. Tartarus nav key. Beautiful. Return to the lab. Phineas's terminal pasket. Ah. Uh, that's what he meant by swine and pig. Sorry, Bubbles. Tis unfortunate. <clears throat> Alright, I do want to see what my reputation is with the board. Mixed! Oh, because my negative is going up. Really fast. Some crew members are causing a... Dead center. Next round's on you. Modify. Rip. What can we do? Melee attack speed. Weapon durability. Yeah. Attack speed. Definitely. Tanker. And we're going to do the same thing here. It's going to bring you quite high up. There you go. Captain's coming. Put your gun away. Act casual. Oh, uh, um, yes, this'll about do. That's a mighty clean weapon. Yep, ain't no call for a closer inspection by anybody. Something like Yeah, what were you doing? All right, fine. Don't tell me. Captain, as it appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet, I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns. Okay. Oh, what's up? So, Peeps? Phineas got himself taken to Tartarus. That's usually a one-way trip. <laughs> <laughs> to extract the scientist, oh, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. We can't abandon Phineas. We have to free him if we have any hope of saving the colony. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Trust me, I know. Oh yeah, he's been there. Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. We got guns. If you really mean to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished guns. business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Oh, this is like, they're like, hey, uh, once you do this, there's no going back. It's the craziest plan I've ever heard. And I mean that as a compliment. You didn't hire me to think, and I ain't about to start now. You're my boss, and I'll walk into fire with you. All right, I think bud. it's insane. A little but much. 
Maybe the colony needs a healthy dose of insanity right about now. I know it's dangerous. And I won't lie and say I'm not scared out of my wits. But I couldn't live with myself if we didn't do something. You're asking for more than bravery from us, Captain. But there are worse ways to go than dying for a good cause. I'm in. Let Sam get the grime out. It's what our units do best. The entire plan is a terrible idea. But I admire your bravado, Captain. Which leads me to illogically believe, against the odds, that you will be successful. Okay. We're doing it. Everyone strap in. I don't really care about that side quest about dressing up, so... If we don't make it, at least it'll be a great story. Got my trusty tossball stick. Got my ass kicking boots. I'm ready, boss. Outstanding. You can count on us, Captain. We're crew. For real crew. That means we got each other's backs. Right? Never thought I'd volunteer to break into a prison. Seems like your tendency towards risky behavior is rubbing off on me, Captain. Command not recognized. Waiting on your command, Captain. Oh my gosh. Dude, Sam is ridiculous. I love Sam. Also, is this a camera? It is. Okay. All right, let's do a... Uh, <clears throat> let's do one final save here. And I'm going to call it there for today. We'll do this mission and potentially beat the game tomorrow. I'm pretty sure this is the conclusion uh, of the Outer Worlds. Um, this one last mission here. So uh, we'll do the whole thing tomorrow. No idea how long it's going to take, how hard it'll be, how many times I'm going to die. Uh, we'll see. But we've done all of the companion quests. We've done all of the side quests that we have found except for uh the the dress up to be a model one so i don't really care about that one uh so i think we're set i think we're in a really good position for this so we're going to be back tomorrow 2 p.m central time i'll see you all right here thanks for hanging out if i hope to see you tomorrow but if i don't that's fine have a fantastic weekend everybody and until next time mythic out i'll see you later have a good one